Welcome back. 923 right now. Hitting the mall or maybe buying a new handbag, a lot of people indulge in what they call retail therapy. But when does shopping go from a hobby to a full blown addiction? Well, turns out there is a new questionnaire developed by psychiatrists to help you figure it out. It was published in the journal Frontiers of Psychology, and the gal behind it says people who are addicted to shopping have similar behavior to people who are addicted to drugs or alcohol. Neurologist and national mindful living expert Dr. Romy Mushak is joining us this morning to talk more about this. Great to see you, Dr. Good Romy. Good morning, as Amy. Always. as always. We're here having a couch confessional. A couch this morning. confessional. And, yes. and you know, it's funny. I, I went through the list because I thought, okay, this is interesting. I wonder mm -hmm. if I fall into any of these categories. And the only thing that I checked yes to was the one about sometimes shopping to lift my mood. Oh, I had a bad day. I'm just going to run in here, see if I can find something that'll kind of like, oh, this is cute. And it perks you up a little bit. Uh, but this is. Uh, much more serious yes, than that, mm -hmm. right? It is, unfortunately. So here was the interesting thing. The cliche that women are more likely to be shopping addiction is true. Yeah. Here was the thing that was surprising to me as a physician, that the people that tended to be more shopaholics were the extroverts, the bubbly, happy people. Really? Or neurotic people who tend to have a little bit more anxiety or depression. So those were the two categories that it typically fell into. Okay, so let's mm -hmm. go through this list. There are seven questions yes. on the list. And what are some of the questions on there that, that they're asking? these folks. Well, we already talked about shopping to lift your mood, which is a typical thing. But right. if you fall into more extreme categories that shopping has made you miss a life event, like well, going to work, going to school, that you feel guilty about how much you're shopping. And then we were talking in the commercial break, Amy, think about a minor version of hoarders. You bought a toaster or a blender and you have six of them at home and you only need one. Right. It's that mild version of hoarding or more than 50 to 75 percent of your closet still has the tags on it with clothes that are largely unused. Used. Right. Yes. Yeah, and they talked about, I thought this was interesting too, that they talked about people who tend to be shopaholics are also people who uh, tend to basically miss life events. They, they get so wrapped up in the shopping, they can't stop thinking about it, that it becomes all encompassing to them. Because as we were talking in the beginning, when you have a shopping addiction, it is actually feeding that addiction center in the brain the same way gambling or alcohol or drugs would do. So this can be a serious problem. Okay, if you're sitting at home and you're like, oh my gosh, that sounds like me, yeah. what do you do? Okay, so first of all, for any men watching who think this is their wife, their daughter, or girlfriend, please don't start an argument. You're going to make them feel worse, and it's going to make them want to shop more. The second thing is, just like there's Alcoholics Anonymous, mm -hmm. there is Shopaholics Anonymous that helps people find their way. Last but not least, it's really going deep within, Amy, and realizing, gosh, am I really unhappy underneath, depressed? anxious, instead of using shopping, get professional treatment and diagnosis for those so that the shopping can now be a hobby and you can be a fashionista and not right. a shopaholic. Right, right, because yes. there's always something underlying, isn't there? I mean, that's really the root of it, uh, whatever the addiction is. Yeah, and the sign is then you go and you buy something and you're not happy anymore the minute right. you've brought it home and made the purchase. All right, Dr. Romy, oh, uh, your website, please. DrRomy.com. All right, she's the best. Thank, Thank you, you. Amy. Always great All right, 926 right now.